are ready to talk about basic playing techniques. So let's actually talk about the position of the drum and the position of the music stand when we're playing. You want to position yourself so that you're facing the conductor. Make sure that the drum is either straight up and down or at a slight angle. You don't want it to be all the way horizontal, otherwise the sound won't project correctly. Also with the music stand, be sure to place it in front of the drum at just below eye level with the conductor. So what you're looking for is being able to see both the music and the conductor without having to look up and down like this. When choosing your bass drum mallet, remember that you want to use a concert bass drum mallet. You don't want to use a marching bass drum mallet or a timpani mallet. For instance, the BD-1 is a great mallet because it's soft felt, it's a nice good sized head, and it's got a good weight so you can activate the whole drum. For your playing area, you want to generally play just off the center of the drum. You'll get a nice, big, deep, full sound. In general, your stroke is just going to be slow, keeping the hand relaxed, using the arm, big muscles. So again, you're, you're getting a deep sound, a dark sound from the drum. Now let's talk about muffling the bass drum. Some stands come with a footrest so that you can prop your foot up and use your knee to muffle the drum. If your stand doesn't have a footrest, you can also use a chair, or if the chair's too tall, you can use the base of a snare drum stand, as I'm doing here. Just rest your foot on it and your knees at the correct height to muffle the drum. Now, in general, what you're going to do is play the drum and let the, the sound resonate, no muffling, and then muffle after you've played. When you muffle, you reach around with your left hand to muffle the resonant head, and you use your knee to muffle the batter side head. For faster passages, or for instance during marches, you may want to use a little bit of muffling that stays on the head as you play. So in this case, I'll let my knee rest gently on the batter side head as I play. This ensures that you hear the definition of each note that I play. Now you want to be careful that you don't press too hard, muffle too much, because then the drum will sound dead and, and sort of boxy. Now let's talk about some different sounds that you can get out of the bass drum. We've already talked about the BD-1, the general mallet. You can use this same mallet and play in a different beating spot and get an entirely different sound. If you play right in the center of the drum, you get a really big impact. If you need more articulation, the BD-3 is a great option. It's a smaller head and the felt is more tightly wrapped, so you can hear more articulation with each note that you play. If you need to roll on the bass drum, make sure that you've got two mallets of the same size. The BD-7 is a great option because they're slightly smaller, slightly lighter in weight, so you can move them quickly to get to the roll speed that you need. When you're rolling on the bass drum, play a little bit closer to the edge. This way you get the resonant sound of the head without all the attack that you get when you're closer to the center of the head. Rolling on a bass drum is a lot like rolling on a timpani. You're using a hand-to-hand -hand single stroke roll, not a buzz roll or double stroke roll like you would use on a snare drum. The most important thing is to listen and make sure that you're getting a sustained sound. So you want your hands to be nice and relaxed. And at a low dynamic level, you don't have to be rolling very fast at all. Just make sure that your roll stays even. And that as the dynamic level goes up, your hands speed up. If you need a drier sound on the drum, Another option, besides your knee and your hand to muffle, is a towel. One thing I like to do is put the towel up here and use a clip to keep it in place. Then you can play longer articulated passages without having to worry about having your knee in place. So the most important thing to remember about the concert bass drum is the sound you're looking for. That sound is low and sustained. 
remember the bass drum is the lowest sound in the band or the orchestra that you're playing in, so you want to make sure that it's the right kind of sound. You're not looking for the sound of a drum set bass drum or a marching bass drum. It's a much more resonant and open sound. So remember to always think about the sounds that you're making. Listen to the sounds that you're making and make sure that they're the right sounds for the music that you're playing.